Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Supplies, Subs, and Spies. So, Moscow has fallen. Germans are, pu are pushing along. The Dutch East Indias have fallen, which isn't much of a surprise. China seems to be holding, though I haven't paid too much attention to this part of the world. And I... I'm starting to consider a naval invasion of Greenland just to see if I can. These guys are ready to go out again. And they've already sunk a submarine. Two subs. Other of these. I'd love to be able to build a kind of station on the Pharaohs. But alas. Right up in the Scottish Highlands. There should be a few more there. I'm starting to think that these cruisers were not a good idea. Let's modify the lend lease here, give these guys. All of my older anti air. And then maybe a monthly, I'll give these guys 45. Lost a convoy. But we're hunting them down. That's going, but very slowly. Not sure it'll make enough of a difference now I think about it. It's no longer an invasion targeting Ireland. It was last episode. Does that get me? Hmm, I'm not sure it's really worth it. These are not worth getting yet. War bonds, not yet. Right, that might be down the line just to give myself some extra building slots. Okay, let's cut it down even further to the 1st of January, even if we're losing steel again. After this surfer farm aid, I think I will research the last stage of um, resource extraction. I know it's not going to be very efficient, but...
Two months to sabotage the urban structure. I think that needs to be buffed, to be honest. Mike gave me an extra one, but it'll be just enough to put it over the edge. Perhaps I should send these guys some extra stuff. Of any convoys, so give them thirsty. Hmm, Raiders are definitely helping a bit, but that's the sole source of caution we have. I'll put these on them. Um, control and tell them to never attack, or only attack at low risk. Not good. Air Company. Not much. This will be though, because extra dockyard output, extra factory output. Mm. 
I'm going to switch back to the um, construction engineering. Try and get these up and running quicker. I have no idea what templates these are. They're starting to push the back. This is probably going to be a complete waste, but... Oh yeah, that's not worth it. This only applies to destroyers. Yeah. So escort efficiency is generally everyone. It's not like I'm using it for much anyway. Hmm. They have four girls against us. Going much, much in their, much in their favor. Why oh, have two wars there? And these are pushed, being pushed back. I think I'm going to try bumping up these a bit. What I'm basically doing here is thinking, well, if we start fighting around here, we're going to need to get supplies up soon. So that's East Anglia. Could help spot out here. Sussex. I don't think I actually need that now. Shetlands we definitely need. Us. Let's see um, what it would take to go from here.
We don't have nearly enough of naval supremacy. We don't have enough convoys. Weren't we supposed to be providing supplies to everyone? See what difference putting them in Iceland does. Ground support, strategic bombing, strategic bombing in general, or strategic bombing for the tactical bombers. It's a or I bump up their range. Bombing engine. Yeah, this is gonna be expensive, but it's going to Bump them a bit. Quite a bit, actually. Doesn't really bump up their navel, does it? Hmm. I'll go with ground support instead, just to get them be better overall at that. I don't know if we're going to be occupying this or liberating it from... Probably liberating it, so I'm not sure if we'll even need a garrison. I get this because I don't need to it means I don't need to replace anything. It'll just make the torpedoes more efficient. And I'm not sure we made much of a difference there by sabotaging the German infrastructure. The Soviets do capitulate. Well, that's where the fun begins.
And by that I mean fun, as in the Dwarf Fortress sense. Losing is fun! They're giving us convoys now. Alright, let's go take Greenland. I'm not really expecting it to be that much... ...any real resistance, but... Basically means we are gonna hold 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 the Atlantic. I'm gonna put the put these two here told us earlier. Just to help just to help support the home front. We are losing troops there, but so what does this give us? Tactical withdrawal, i.e. retreat without actually saying we're retreating. That's not much use to me, that's not much use. These two definitely are. That's okay. This is, I said this wasn't much use, but I'm going to get it here because it is starting to annoy me to see that thing up there all the time. Mid-Atlantic Gap. I think they're referring to this. Ah, yes, the Azores. I may just... Naval base down there. Go back now. Actually, what am I doing? I don't even need that. I only want a once off. Submarine against a convoy. Yeah, uh, that's a victory point. Huh. Isn't, isn't that's accessible? There's actually an infantry division there. And I have no naval support whatsoever. But we outnumber them and they have no supply. For another month. weeks. I really jumped the gun on that, didn't I?
We're basically winning because we outnumber them that much. And we're take and we're preventing them getting supply in. This one's too disorganized to do much. We're basically just wearing them down by sheer numbers. Maybe I should just apply some air support. Oh, there's nobody around for them to really go. Four days. Sign these back to this. And we have the Michael Collins. Supplies are very poor here. At this point, I'm going to have to prioritize that, which is going to draw people away from. Just send these back to back to Ireland. Probably going to lose some troops just from attrition, but I actually need these now. How much experience has he earned from that? Twelve per sect. Yeah. Probably not my best decision. But it means we've pretty much got this entire area sealed off. I'm gonna build another one of these, so we'll have two or three. I might put them on a separate, um, so. All the siblings into one. Ah, uh, one bit of Denmark remains.
this area looks like it's kind of stable-ish. And this has been taken back. The Aussies are holding just the I think that's gonna stop for now. Ooh. Cancel that attack. It's good. I'm gonna have them here and support that. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish because that should pretty much get the Germans out of North America. Well, Greenland. Actually, is it technically part of North America? Ah, I should look this up. Supplies are going to be a massive problem here. And of course it only counts as one. One re region, so it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, they're just going to take a while to get there because it's awful terrain. It's probably freezing. Where's the weather map modes? Doesn't really matter. Darn. Wasn't really too much of a surprise now I think about it. Want to do that with them? No, I don't. All right, everyone, let's go home. So there are pretty much no German forces in Greenland left. So I think. So the next Oslo comes, that will be it for tonight. This has not gone the way I quite expected it, but there you have it. It would be pretty boring if they did. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Get around.